you say you want commitment from him. And what I'm trying to say to you is when people show you who they are, believe them. If you want to be single, then just be single. And if you want to be in a committed relationship, choose someone who's not going to cheat. Here is today's case. Steven and Shakina first met when they were just 13 years old. A few years later, they reconnected, and now they've been together for six years and have two kids. Shakina says Steven is so controlling that he messages other men on her social media account without her knowledge. Steven says Shakina is a party animal, and if she's thinking about marriage, she needs to stop flirting with other men. Shakina says she is not cheating and wants to prove her love to Steven here in Divorce Court. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Faith Jenkins presiding. Your Honor, this is the case of Clay versus Banks. Thank you, Juan. Stephen Clay. Yes, Your Honor. You have brought Miss Shakina Banks. Yes, Your Honor. To court today, you say she owes you two hundred dollars for a broken watch. Yes, she does. You are countersuing, ma'am, for a hundred and ninety-five dollars and fifty-nine cents. Yes, Your Honor. For a broken window. Yes, yes. I understand the two of you have been in a relationship for six years and you're also in divorce court because a number of issues the two of you are having outside of broken property. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, I'll start with you, sir. Give me some background. Hi, my name is Stephen Clay, Your Honor, and I'm here because my girlfriend is, like, really controlling. She has no filter and it's like she wants to go out with friends all the time and don't want to spend any time with me and I'm just here to, to get to the bottom of why we're having these problems in our relationship. Okay, and what do you have to say about that, Ms. Banks? I, I'm not controlling. I just want things a certain way, and if he doesn't do it right, then I'm gonna take over. So if that's control, then I'm controlling. Okay, so you are controlling. Let's talk about the other two oh, okay. issues. Do you have no filter? No. <laughs> yes. I, I don't have a filter, but I do. If I'm comfortable with you, then I don't have a filter, but yeah. And he says you like to go out a lot. Yes, I do like to go out, but I have kids. I just started living my life. I devoted my whole life to my kids. They're bigger now. Yeah, I want to party. Well, how old are your kids? Um, they are four, six, and seven. Okay, so you have toddlers. Yeah. What do you mean by they're bigger now? It's time for you to I'm live your life. I'm saying they're bigger now, like the, the six and seven-year-olds. My whole life, I'm only 26, so I stopped partying. I stopped doing all of that. Once you become a mother, you have to do what you have to do. Mm -hmm. So that's what I did. But now that they're getting a little older where they don't need bottles, they don't need to be, you know, set... I don't have to sit there with them 24 hours out the day. And I go out while they're Well, sleep. you do with the four-year-old and the six-year-old, Miss Banks. These are small children. They absolutely do need a lot of supervision. Now, it is totally fine to take a break, go out, let your hair down every now and again, but you do not have children that you have raised so that now it's time for you to live your life. Mr. Clay, how did the two of you meet? Because you're both still in your 20s, mm -hmm. 24 and 26 years old, but you've been together since you were teenagers. Yep. How did you meet and how did their relationship start? We met at a mall and I saw her, like she was just the most beautiful thing that I've seen in my life, so I ran up to her. And I gave her the biggest, baddest, wettest, nastiest kiss I ever saw in my life. Like, oh, okay. She and you, had witnessed. And you started dating and did not go to jail? Nope. <laughs> did not go to jail. Police yeah, did not I know. anything. We met through a mutual party as teenagers. And so he was coming to the mall. I knew he was coming to the mall. But we were teenagers. We were kids. Were I kids. lived in another town. Mm -hmm. So it just did not work out. And then... How we... did you reconnect? He wrote me on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> He wrote me on Facebook, and then we just started talking from there, and then we just started dating. And then it's been this ever since. So you've been living together for five years. Yes. Yes, Your Honor. What is going on, sir? Why are you now here? T tell me about the issues. Okay. One of the issues, Your Honor, is being controlling. So one of the things where she was being controlling is when she was, like, we was in a mall one day, and I found these $50 pants, mm -hmm. and finna get ready and pay for them, pour the money out, finna hand it to the cashier, she rung it up. Here comes Shakina. And she says, she goes on to say, you finna buy these expensive A pants and loud as ever. Like, everyone heard her. The cashiers, whoever was shopping, everyone heard her. So she so, made a scene. Yeah, she made a big scene. And it, because of $50 pants. So she, now she's controlling, and according to you, this is a part of her not having a filter. Yes. 
What did you do? Did you buy the pants? I did not buy the pants. I left them wherever I found them, man. You were embarrassed? Yes. I was and, very and she... embarrassed, and I left out. And she stormed out right, at, uh, right before I did, but I ran right behind her. Now, did, did you do that? Did you go in the store and, and embarrass him in front of the cashier and everybody? Your Honor, I did not embarrass him. Were you him. talking loud where everyone could hear you? No, I was not talking loud. Any She's time, in denial, Your Honor. Any time that I say anything to him and anybody is near, he's like, oh, so-and-so heard me. Nobody hears me. And, but he went and got the pants. He is a big shopper, Your Honor. Like, he don't buy stuff often, but when he do, it costs a lot of money and he spends a lot of it. Well, it's his money, right? It is. And it's $50 it is. for a pair of pants. It's his it money. Is, but... And had you... But had at the same time, Did you Yana, not go shopping yourself that day? At the same time, Your Honor, women's clothes are way cheaper than men's clothes. So we, she has to look at that. Like, she walks in my face and you up a big bag of... Excuse me, sir? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Your Honor. Excuse my language. But she a came... A large bag. A large bag. Fit, probably $50 worth of stuff. You know, like, it was probably $50 worth of stuff. She told me it was $50 worth of stuff, which brings me back to women's clothes are cheaper than well, men's Well, she could clothes. also just be a bargain shopper. So exactly. that's one of the issues where you say she controls even the when you go shopping yeah. and makes a scene. I am a bargain yeah. shopper, Your Honor. He will go and he just sees something and his eyes just light up like, boom, like, we just made of it. And, you know, I have no problem, no problem with him spending the money. It's the fact that when we have a budget and you want to spend majority of your budget on pants... Well, our... it, doesn't, it doesn't appear that $50 would be majority of the budget on pants if he's buying one pair of pants. Why are you telling these people what we're doing during sex? She was showing her positions from here. Here, leg. He did catch us doing a little move thing. We was just playing. Is this what he means by you have no filter? You think you're keeping it real by just saying what you want to say when you want to say it? But you also say there's an issue with Facebook messaging. Mm. The two of you met on Facebook. What's happening on social media? I've seen her inboxing a guy that, that she used to talk to, and it was just having messages as far as like, oh, I miss you. I miss the way you were. I miss who, the... Who's saying they miss who? The person, whoever she was with at the time. An ex or whatever. Writing her, telling yeah. her they miss her. Writing her, that they miss her, and she's responding, I miss you too. Mm. And she's... That's a lie. Oh, I, f I, I, I miss having sex with you. No, that's this not girl. how it happened. So, right. someone was messaging you. You were telling them that you missed them, too. So, you were having these conversations on social media? First of all, Your Honor... I believe... Let me tell you. I, I believe Mr. Clay. I believe Mr. Clay. Thank I don't you. think he's embellishing here in court today. Thanks, Your I Honor. believe Mr. Clay. That what he, he saw what he saw. Yes, there is some truth to that. So, and the truth to that is that was before him. So, you I say think... the timing of the messages is just off. This was before you're in a relationship. Is that true? No. They were uh, after. That's not true. Your Honor, my what profile is... says that I am in a relationship. Mm -hmm. It's filled with nothing but pictures of me and him. Like, it's all about Ms. us. Miss Banks, yes. you are in divorce court, ma'am. People having a profile that says they're in a relationship means nothing. If anything, it makes you more attractive. Because they want to see if they can get in there and what they can get away with. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Your Honor. What else is going on, sir? Okay. Because you... Another incident when she was, had no filters, when she and her best friend talks on the phone together mm. about sex that me and her have. Mm. It's like one day I was coming in from work and she and, she and her friend were having conversations about the positions that they have. Like, they, she was on the phone and she was showing her positions from here, here, leg. Yeah, like, it was just <laughs> girls in chat. It was everywhere. a neutral visual like, demonstration. She was really... <laughs> she was really adamant about showing them what type of positions. Like, she was... I, I understand, sir. Like, you can, I'm like, you can stand geez. up straight behind the lectern. What you need to show her all of these things for? Like, why are you telling these people what we're doing during sex. Like... Ms. Banks, why do you feel the need to share so many details? Well, that's just how me and my best friend is. I'm not like that with any of my other friends, but sometimes we just talk, and he just comes in on the butt end of the conversation, and it's just girl talk, you know? But, Ms. Banks, okay. if he has expressed to you that it makes him uncomfortable that, that you're sharing so many details about your intimate life, 
why not at a minimum take the conversation elsewhere where he can't even hear it? Is this what he means by you have no filter? It does not matter what he communicates. You think you're keeping it real by just saying what you want to say when you want to say it? Your Honor, first off... You're just showing pictures of Mike Johnson to people? I, I did not show pictures of his Johnson, no baby, Johnson because... And all of those things? No, like, I did see, not show pictures they know of him. what size I am right now. And the friend... <laughs> I even walked out of the room one day, and the friend says... She already, uh, I already know what size it is. I already know how big it is. You, wh why do you say she sent a photo? She's, I feel like she sent the photo because... Because of that comment. Why would you know, so how will you know that my, my Johnson is the size that it is? Let me just ask you this. You don't find it inappropriate that, that a friend of yours would even make a comment like that I, because the two of you are so openly talking about it? It was a statement... No. It was a statement that he made. He came in and he was like, um, next thing you know, y'all will be talking about the size of my... And then she She's was lying, like... Honor. She was like... She was like, we already know Stephen by. Like, she's comfortable with him as well. And we just be talking. And he just always end up on the end of the conversation. And he did catch us doing a little move thing. We was just playing. So you wake up to see what? A dude trying to hug my girlfriend while she's naked. I had not messed with this guy in months. Did the two of them end up getting into an altercation? Yes, they did, Your Honor. Yes, Not they did. surprising. Somebody walking in your house in the middle of the night, that's not safe for anybody in that household. If you'd like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Miss the show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and follow us on social media for exclusive content. So, Mrs. Banks, you've decided not to listen when he tells you he's uncomfortable with the amount of details you share with your friends. It is reasonable and it is fair when he asks you to stop talking and sharing such, so many details with your friends about your personal life. Judge, our sex is good, so, you so, know... So, let me, let me... But you say it's gone further than that because the two of you were in bed one night, mm -hmm. 3 o'clock in the morning. What happened, sir? We were laying down in the bed. I accidentally left the door unlocked, coming in from a drunk night, kissing inside of the door, so okay. we forgot to lock the door. Her f ex friend's benefits comes in while we were asleep. No knocking, anything. He just comes in the door. The dude came in and tapping her, like tapping her and telling and giving her a hug while she's naked. She has no clothes, no, no bra on, anything. So like, somebody's in your house in the middle of the in night. In the house in the middle of the night, Your Honor. So you middle. wake up to see what? A dude trying to hug my girlfriend while she's naked. And what happened? She tells him to go in the front and that she would meet him in there. She gets up, puts her shirt on, says, says to me, I don't know why he's here. So who does this man turn out to be? A best friend with benefits. Mm -hmm. and best friend. How does this man end up in your house in the middle of the night, ma'am? The boy was with my little brother. He was cool with my brother. And we live in a building, so a lot of people know each other. They were at someone else's house. My this brother... was someone that you had slept with in the past? Yes. Okay, so I don't care about his relationship with your little brother. Thank yeah. you. So he comes in, he comes in your bedroom, he gives you a hug. Like, like what is he doing walking in your house he in the middle of the night? In, when I yell, like, and say his name, he, like, comes over to me and he's hugging me. Like, I had not messed with this guy in months. When I told him to go, he went into the bathroom. So I was sitting in... Did the, the two of them end up getting into an altercation? Yes, they did, Your Honor. Yes, Not they did. surprising. Hmm. Yes, yes, they did. And so, the guy went into the bathroom instead of, like, going. He actually should be happy to be alive. He really I'm should. Because really you walk should. in somebody's house in the middle of the night... I'm telling you. They don't know you. Exactly. They've never seen you before. I agree. That is a huge that problem. That is a huge problem. Because you can... Because you got people walking in in the middle of the night completely unannounced. Well, he was too unannounced. comfortable. That's the thing. He was too comfortable. Like... And she, this, this dude, I probably didn't more than likely than seeing pictures of us on Facebook. Like, she knows that... I, I feel like he knows that she's not single. What are you like, suing for? You're suing for $200 for a broken watch. Yeah, what is that? my watch. It, she, like, it was a fight because she wanted to go out with her friends instead of me. So she snatches my watch off of my hand and just threw my stuff on the wall. 
and it, and it shattered. Mm -hmm. I did. Why'd you throw his watch? He had been nitpicking with me the whole day, saying little things. So you admit you picked I up his did. watch and threw it? I did. Yes, yes. Now you're suing for $195.59 for a broken window. Tell me about that. Okay, Your Honor. So he, again, we're always arguing over where, who's going where. So he wanted me to go with him, with his peoples. I wasn't jiggy with the movement. Mm -hmm. And then he was like, Oh, you know what? And then he, next thing you know, he was just like, Psh! blood just coming down his, his hand. He punched and the like, window with his hand? Yeah, he cut up his hand, punching the window. With your bare hand, you punched the window of the car? Yes, Your Honor. One time. Be, just because she didn't want to go out with you and your it friends? Was yes, Your Honor, because it's, like, it's always a no. It's like, no, you who can't. Cares? Like, huh, who cares? Why, why does I, it matter that much? Because I want to spend time with my girlfriend a, a lot of times. So, you know so, you're, so you think the she's going to want to spend... Hold today. on a second. You think she's gonna want to spend more time with you if you punch and break the window of her car? No, but it's just frustrating that she wants to say no all the time and I can't put my hands on anything else, so I'm just gonna take it on the first okay, object so, that I see. Okay, so how about once in a while you just s s spend time with her and you don't have to invite her to go with people all the time? Mm. Or how about the two of you learn how to communicate with each other in an emotionally healthy way when you're upset? suing for $200. Mm. You're suing for $195.59 because the two of you don't know how to handle your anger. The two of you don't know how to communicate. Now, the man who walked in your house, that's a really, really big issue. It is. But the stuff that y'all breaking each other's stuff over? This is petty stuff that the two of you should be able to communicate about if you are emotionally mature adults. Mm. That's it. I could try. And, Your Honor, I'm not That's saying it. that I'm always right, because I'm you not. You are not always I'm not, right. I'm not. I so agree. let's talk about you now and why you are not always right. Ms. All Banks. right. Okay. Because he has expressed to you a few things in this relationship about you being controlling. You basically, you admit it that you were. When you say, I want something to be done a certain way, and if they don't do it a certain way, I don't like it. He's not you. You're with him because there was something about him that you like. He is not you. Accept him for who he is. Number two, you talk too much. I believe him when he said you went in the store and you were being all loud about the pants. I believe it. And I believe when you say he's talk you're talking to your friends, telling all your business. It's not cool to be so real all the time and just say whatever you want when you want to say it. Thank you. And then you have young children which is a high priority in your life. This is not the time for you to live your best life out in the streets. You don't belong to the streets, ma'am. And looking at everything here, somebody walking in your house in the middle of the night, that's not safe for anybody in that household and your family. Now, the two of you are gonna have to get it together. You got some growing up you gotta do. And I'm addressing this on both sides because you can't go punching out stuff and breaking up stuff when you get angry. So. Does she owe you for that $200 watch? Absolutely. She had no right to break your watch. She was wrong. Thank you. Do you owe her for $195.59 for the window? Absolutely. You are not justified in breaking her window. Mm. So that is a net judgment in your favor, sir, of $4.41. Really that is what she owes you, and that is what I am ordering her to pay. Good luck to both of you. Judge Faith. Verdict. I am going to agree with that because I feel like we do need to work on uh, communication. Um, when it comes to Judge Face ruling, she thinks I'm controlling. I'm not controlling. I just want things to be done a certain way so that we won't have to go out of our way. The communication could be better. You know, we're a work in progress. No, why do you want me to be patient well, why, for what? Wait, what? Why you want to spend money on $50 pants, but you don't want to take that $50. Oh, but you want to spend $150 on weave and, 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 and makeup well, and shoes and you're designer the one who bags. Wants me to bow down to you. Give me a ring, baby. Well, you have one. Give me a ring. Okay. Take this mic off of me. I'm ready to go. Whatever.